Hello everyone. Um, this video is going to be about my altar right now and we're in between um, Ostara and Beltane. We just finished Ostara and we have Beltane coming up in May. So this is my in between time but it is my spring altar. So let's get started. Um, I have here my working candle. As you know from the other video, my Ostara video, I had a much larger candle um, it was on a big plate and it took up a lot of room and I wasn't 100% satisfied. I found these little candles and I thought they're perfect. Um, the color purple to represent uh, the angels and spirits and all that. I think it's perfect because, um, I always asked when I'm blessing my candles that the God and Goddess and, um, spirit guides and angels, um, be with me whenever I light it and whenever I'm working, meditating. So I thought purple was um, the perfect color. And then it's like a little star shape on top. So that was perfect. And then I found a little plate to go with it too. So it takes up a lot less room on my altar, <laughs> which is good. And it's just a lot easier to work with this size. And I actually found a couple of them. So I'm pretty happy. And they seem to um, burn very slow. So... I'll be set for a little while. Around my um, working candle, I put some unpolished stones, which I really love more than the uh, tumbled ones. Um, eventually, I would like to get all the stones affiliated with the planets to have like a little planetary thing around the candle. But I have some right now, but I don't have all of them just yet. Um, so I have a little piece of candle quartz. Um, I have Amazonite, I believe this is, um, I have regular crystal quartz, um, sapphire, uh, moonstone, another quart, a pretty little amethyst piece, and I'm not sure how to pronounce this, but I'll um, I forget. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, but this is a really pretty piece, too. Okay. Then at the end, I have my soapstone oil burner at either end. I have my brass cauldron there. Um, I keep a little sage smudge stick there. Um, that's usually what I keep in the incense unless I'm doing something that requires like uh, burning or something for a ritual. I have my bell. I have my little vases on either side with flowers. have um, my little lighted branches there. Then in the middle of the altar, as usual, I keep my God and Goddess candle, my illuminated candles, my offerings. And then something to represent um, whatever phase the moon is in or whatever holiday set, sabbat we're in. Um, and in my star altar, you guys saw I had um, the little fairy, that pretty little fairy to represent the maiden. And she was very adorable, but she was there because I was waiting for this beautiful figurine to arrive. Um... <clears throat> This is a Native American, um, like, meditating in pose. She is so gorgeous, and she's rather large, too. She's, I think, 11 and a half, or something like that, between 11 and 12. Um, this is her side. This is her back. She's absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. It's the other side. Now, um, she, I've seen her on eBay and I've seen her online for almost as much up to $40. And I've been wanting her for a really long time, but I cannot, um, so many other things I needed and, you know, so many other things going on. I just couldn't afford her and couldn't get her, but I had her, <laughs> I had, you know, had her on watch on eBay and kept getting, um, sold and I was just like, oh my God, I lost her again and again and again. But like I said in one of my videos, 
uh, if something is meant to be on your altar, it's meant to be. So, not too long ago, I'm um, looking on Amazon, because that's like my favorite online store to shop. And I'm looking on there, and I put Native American um, figurines, and she pops up. And she pops up for $14.99 um, through collections, etc., which is another place I shop, but I haven't been there in, like, forever. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God, you've got to be kidding me. So... I immediately put her in the cart and grabbed her, and I love her. Um, I just, I just think she's beautiful, and she makes a perfect maid in here. So, um, so that's that. Um, I have my God and Goddess can do. I actually picked these up at the Goodwill. Um, I think they were like under two bucks. They're made of brass. They're really heavy, and I thought they were the perfect god and goddess candle. They're sh they're shapes. If you look at the goddess, and then the god one and the square. But I just thought they were like the perfect um, god and goddess candles. Um, I used to have an owl there to represent the goddess crone, and then I had a little tree man. Um, but since I moved, I've been making creating. Uh, mini altars on some of my windows because I have those really pretty windowsills now and I'm actually using her downstairs for my little crone altar and then I have the maiden for my little maiden and I have my Jessica Galbraith for the mother and then I created um the three little phases on my altar um on my windows for like mini altars so that's why she's not here no more and since so she's not there I got rid of the little tree and I just think this is uh, simpler anyway and prettier to just have the uh, candles. Then I also have the uh, Illuminator candles um, in those little brass um, can tea light holders. And then, of course, my offering dish with offering stones, uh, whatever I put in it for the day, and then the little chalice, which is, um, I put it there for the god and goddess, not just like the goddess chalice um so it goes there with my offering i have some juice in there right now and then i decided to elevate this part of the altar too and put it a little bit higher i was watching some videos actually on buddhist altars and um i saw an altar that i fell in love with i just thought it was beautiful the whole setup so i kind of mimicked took some of that and put it in here and one of those things was to elevate um, this part of the altar. Okay, and then right in front I have that pretty little um, incense burner holder thingy with some sand in it and some incense. Um, my earth can do, my sun can do, my pentacle of course, um, and the representations of the elements which I, I use. I used to have water and something for fire and air, but um, I just really, really love crystals a lot, and I found find them a lot simpler um, to use. So I have amethyst for water, I have emerald for earth, uh, citrine for fire, my favorite, favorite um, gemstone. And then I have this angelite piece, angel aura, I'm sorry, not angelite, angel aura um, stone here. Very pretty, you can see all the colors in it. And that is for my ear. And on this side, um, I have my wands, of course. My homemade little wand here. And then, right here, this is my little spirit. Um, this is this candle is for spirits, angels, archangels, um, spirit guides, animal totems, which I believe mine's is the owl. So I have the little owl, I have the angel, I have the candle, I have my um, pendulum, amethyst pendulum with the chakra beads. I have my little heart to represent my love for the craft and god and goddess. I have my angelite for the angel, and then I have this here from the Ascendant Masters Oracle deck. And this means yes, all the doors are open. And I like that to remind myself that the only obstacles that are in our way are the ones we put there. Um, this keeps me positive. This this cloth I picked up, very pretty light green for spring. And there you go. I have my little um, 
incense going. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. It's going to be 10 minutes, so love and lights. Blessed be, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.